Welcome to the tutorial video in Bitsy 6. In this video, I'm going to talk about exits and endings. So far in this series of videos, we've talked about a single room. I've done this on purpose so we could talk about the different tools we use in Bitsy and then finally get around to this video on exits and endings. Now, when we say exits and endings, we're talking about two different things. An exit is some type of thing that transitions from one room to another. That is, we can move between rooms. And you can remember from an earlier video that rooms are associated with palettes and palettes with colors. So we can have different areas that could be scenes or places and move between them by going through exits. Now the other term I mentioned is endings. An ending, as its name implies, ends. That is, the game comes to an end. It shows some final dialogue and the game is over. That's the end of it. But we can have multiple endings and see multiple dialogue for when the game ends. But let's talk about exits, because those are the more complex idea to start. So I started with a new game and reset everything. So coming down within the room window, you'll see down here, add exits and endings. This pops up the exits and endings window, which can also be accessed by going up to the tools and clicking on exits and endings, which will show that same window. So I'm going to close the paint window, which I don't currently need, the colors window, and the download window, because we're going to just talk about exits and endings. So notice it says there are no exits or endings in this room, which is correct, there are none. So we want to add an exit. Before we add an exit though, we need a destination. So within the room window down on the bottom, I'm going to add a new room. I do that under room tools, making sure it's open, and then clicking on the plus to add a new room. Notice when I do it, it immediately shows me that new room, and I can immediately start to draw on it if I want to. So let's do that real quick before we talk about exits. I'm going to reopen the paint window, go over to tile, and quickly draw a small boundary around this new room, so we can visually differentiate between room 0 and now room 1. So I'm going to go back to room 1, down here, room tools, back to room 1, go ahead and close the paint window, I don't currently need it. So let's add an exit. So within exits and endings, I'm clicking on plus exit. So notice down here, it immediately assumed I wanted to move from room 0 to room 1. It also shows me where on the map that will happen within the room. 2, 2, and 13, 13. So the exit over here in room 1 is down here in the bottom left corner. Well, I don't really want that. I'm kind of okay with the exit being in room 0 up here in the left-hand corner. That's fine. But I want to move it. So there are two ways to move the return exit currently, or move any exit within a room. The first of which is that I can click and drag on it. Notice in room 0, I'm moving this around, I'm clicking and dragging. I can also, within exits and endings, click on move, and notice it says click in room, and allow me to place it somewhere else. So let's change the destination for room 1. I move over to room 1, and click the upper left hand corner. But When I transitioned, it moved, so let's do this again. Right there is where I want it. So, in room one, we show up up here in the left-hand corner, and when we leave, we show up, we leave out of the upper left-hand corner in room zero. Let's play to make sure I got that right. So I'm moving around, and I've transitioned into room one. And I move out, and notice I'm moving between them. Now the reason I can move through the walls within room 1 is that they're not set as walls. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. In room 1, I'm going to move the exit over, pull up paint, double click the tile I didn't mean to place, and this time turn them into walls. So now we are impassable. And drag the exit back over. Click and drag. So coming back to room 0. Let's replay this. So we have our exit in the upper left hand corner and it moves us to room 1. And this is room 1 
now with its walls. And if we move back into that same corner, it puts us back into room zero. This is room zero, this is room one, zero, one. And you notice every time we intersect similar to sprites and items, we are now moving between them. This is the exit. Now, you may have noticed over in the Exits and Endings window that it shows this direction. It says Exit shows us room 0 and Return Exit room 1, and there are arrows pointing between them. Now, I can change this by clicking on them. Now, we exit from room 0 to room 1, and let's play that. And I can't go back. The exit doesn't work. If I click this again, we notice the other direction. But I start in room zero, so that's not particularly helpful. And I can't go down because there are no more rooms. And if I click it one more time, click both sides, we see return exit. So within the exits and endings window, we can click to see which direction we want to go or return exits back and forth. Notice when it's just one direction, it says exit and destination, destination exit, or both in this case, exit and return exit. So we can add exits to rooms, but we need new rooms to make destinations too. But it also expands us out. So now we can add multiple rooms with their own sprites and items and their own possible dialogue and add exits between them. So we can move between these different spaces, adding exits. The last thing I want to cover is endings. I mentioned endings have a single dialogue and then it ends. They do. So let's go ahead and add an ending. In this case though, let's move over to room one, click plus ending, and notice it added a new box with a square. So I'm going to drag this out, reset our exit, and now we have an ending. And notice as I'm dragging it around, it's updating in the exits and endings. Notice it says ending, room 1, 12, 2, which is where we're expected to be right there. And the ending dialog is the end. So let's see that in practice. Over in the room window, click on play. Now I'm going to move in the upper left hand corner. OK, and I can move back and forth. And if I move into the upper right hand corner, it says the end, and the game ends. This is one of the endings. So let's stop this, add a new ending, drag it over to down here at the bottom right hand corner and put this time a question mark. The end where well, this is ending two. Play again. Move into room one and move down to see the end, the other ending. So we can also add additional endings to different parts in different rooms through having highlighted rooms and adding endings. So let's review everything we've covered in this video. To start, we discussed there can be different rooms. And we know each room from previous video has its own palette and each palette can have its own colors. So rooms can have different colors. I didn't cover that in this video, but we know it from a previous video. We also know that we can add exits. Exits are connections between rooms. We can exit from one room and show up in another. We also know that rooms can connect back to each other. And so we can have connection between these two rooms and move back and forth between them, changing where we end up within the room and where we want to leave. We also saw, although I didn't quite discuss, that exits and endings don't show up by themselves. So it's actually we should probably add a sprite or something in those places to signify that's a door or a transitional space between one thing and another. But they don't naturally show up. And that leaves us up to us as authors to add those in it. So we have exits as connections between rooms, moving between them, and finally we have endings that end the game. When we run into an ending, it stops. We also saw that endings, like exits, don't have, don't show up in rooms, so it's on us to add either items or sprites or something to signify that the player interacts with and that ends the game. But we can add end exits, connections between rooms, moving between them or moving from one to another, and endings which end the game and we can have multiple exits and multiple endings within the same game. Thanks for watching.